Hi everyone. Today I'm going to use a metric measuring worksheet and show you how to use the worksheet with metric measuring. If you want imperial measurements and fractions, I have another worksheet and uh, click that link right there. Otherwise, let's get started. So my worksheet has the first line here is already measured at 140 millimeters or 14 centimeters. I'm going to measure the next line and let me get it out of the way. If I line up my ruler here, zero to the beginning of the line, Actually, you know, let me first draw a guideline so I can measure, so I can write my measurements here and put a little marker there so they'll go from there to there. Okay, so now I'll measure it zero, uh, one, two, three, all the way up to nine and a half centimeters. So this one is either 95 millimeters, 95 millimeters or it is 9.5 centimeters. So it'd be 9.5, oh, that was sloppy, centimeters. Okay. The next line down. We have 10 and a half centimeters or 105 millimeters because each one of these little lines is a millimeter and so this is and each in between each of the centimeters is 10 millimeters so we have 10 20 30 and so on up to 100 millimeters plus 5 so it's 105 millimeters 1 0 5 millimeters or 10.5 see if I can get this neater centimeters. I have some other shapes on here and obviously, you know, you can measure this. This will be, um, let's say we've got 35, 6, 7, 8. So this is 38 millimeters that way. And then we can hold this like so, or we can turn our paper. Okay. And we've got here uh, 10, 20, 25 millimeters or two and a half centimeters. And you can use this to also figure out, you know, do some math and figure out the area by multiplying that. And I've got some other shapes here too that I've added where you can also add angle measurements to figure out your right angles or your angles. This is a right angle. These guys are right angles. These are not right angles. And so you can use your measuring technique to figure out what those angles are. And then for these guys here, we could do um, your uh, radius or, or, you know, diameter here. So that is, um, one centimeter to the radius or two centimeters for the diameter. And then you can figure out your circumference, circumference and all of your other measurements there. If you want these, this worksheet, click the link on the description below and you'll go to my website and I'm going to ask for your contact information so I can send you more news when I publish new videos. Also like, and subscribe. If you'd like the answer sheet to this, uh, I can also supply that, but I do charge a fee to help support my channel and it's $5. But um, there you have it. So you can use this for your students or for yourself to practice your measuring, whether you're using this kind of ruler or you're using a metal ruler that has centimeters. Again, uh, my other videos, I have videos on measuring Imperial. I have a metric tape measure video. Check the cards at the end of the playlist and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.